Iceland makes the claim that its inhabitants live the longest lives on Earth. And well, I haven't seen anybody die since I got here, so it's gotta be true. It's all in the mud and rub spa culture, Iceland style. Okay, this place has all the ambiance of that movie Cocoon. I was kind of hoping for a hip, swinging spa. This is kind of a bummer. This is actually a clinic that combines modern medical science with Icelandic healthcare traditions. Oh, uh, what's the thick rubber glove for? I hope that's for my producer. He's into rubber. Do you mind if I uh, massage your glutes? What's a glute? <laughs> With my glutes nice and tenderized, I'm ready for the main event. Ah, okay. Slide in. Yep. Lean back. Yep. Oh, yeah. A certain element of trust is required in this operation. It's like this dried out. I would, it would be basically solid, wouldn't it? Yeah. You can see it in the other top. Oh, yeah? So if you leave, if you forget and, like, leave me in here, that would probably <laughs> not be a good thing? <laughs> no, that would never happen. You'd take well, some, you some would say time. that. <laughs> now, before you go shoveling a bunch of dirt into your bathtub, this is therapeutic mud, special mud made with Icelandic volcanic ash and a splash of geothermal water. Satiny smooth after this. My skin will be lovely and emolliated like JLo's butt. Soft, supple, and moist. What is with the rubber gloves in this place? <laughs> yeah, it's time. Okay, I feel like a loaf of well baked bread. Let me just take the most of the clay off you. Oh, yeah, I can't go home like this. I feel like I'm in the blue man group. Now I feel kind of like a zag nut bar. A little crunchy, little bits in inappropriate places. When in doubt, wrap the tourist in uh, sheets and blankets, put him in a dark room, and play him the miracle pan flute of Zamfir. Here's mud in your eye. And up your That was nice. Ready for a cigarette and a beer. Oh yeah, that was a great scene. Riveting. You get to see my scrawny and bony concave chest again. Next scene, you get to see a high colonic. Hey, maybe you'll get to see me clean a bedpan. Healthy, organic, and pure. You'll notice, by the way, anytime you hear the word purity come up too often in conversation, the sound of jackboots can't be far behind. What time is it? Who knows? Who cares? Doesn't really make any difference, does it? That's not good. <laughs> I will not deny that the lack of sunlight alters one's state of mind. Which may explain the fact that 80% of Icelanders accept the possibility that elves, gnomes, and pixies exist. Now, I'm not a huge fan of many traditions, but Iceland does have a little social activity that's key in surviving the winter. It's called Run Tour. A marathon bar nightclub crawl that's a Saturday night must. Now, this is a tradition I can get behind. You gotta start downtown. Up all night and drinking. I can do that. Yes, I'm good at this. The fermented shark here. Do you eat it? Oh, I've tried it. Do you, do you like it? Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You are a lying sack of shit. Yeah. This guy's telling me the shark meat's alarming taste has something to do with the high concentration of waste product in the animal's tissue. So it's basically marinated in urine. That's what you're telling me. Ah, oh, 
That explains the taste. The chefs at the hotel have put up some kind of announcement on the National Chef website. So every culinary guru, chef, and cook seems to have shown up to get hammered, gossip, and behave badly. Hey, there's my old friend Siggy from Vox Restaurant. And there's Bjorn, and hey, there's John, the Thoroblot guy. The sheep pets were too much for me. <laughs> After hauling fermented fish and testicles out of vats of acid all day, I'll bet he needs a drink. America! Or seven. Goodbye, America. Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah, he's looking fresh. Siggy may work at one of the best restaurants in the country, but he knows where to find the good stuff after a few cocktails. Well, you work at the best restaurant in Iceland. Look, yeah. what's the most popular the restaurant in Iceland? Restaurant. It's probably the, the, the hot dog place. Ah, yes, in the midst of a heavy night of drinking, I'm glad to see that even Icelanders seek out the comfort of the good old hot dog. I gotta have one with what? With, what, how do, what do I say? I want a hot dog with everything? Hey, no, you're, you're ordering for me. Yeah, okay. Ketchup, yeah. there's mustard, there's like and curry sauce. Yeah, some kind remoulade. Of remoulade. Yeah, yeah. And crunchy. Yeah, you're crunchy gonna say onions. with everything. You're gonna love it. With that. everything. Well, yeah, that's 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 a good looking, uh, good looking dog. Cheers, yeah. dude. Oh, that's good. Yeah. This is not only good, this is the best. <laughs> this is deep glass. Lunatics. Are you kidding me? Paris Hilton got famous doing that. Yeah. So our former President Clinton uh, yeah. ate here two weeks before his, his heart blew a gasket and he had to have open heart surgery. Yeah. That's the mark of quality. Feel a little pain in my tongue. <laughs> it hurts so good. That's one serious dog. 2 a.m. and things don't seem to be slowing down. <laughs> If I haven't met you already, hey. So do all the chefs in Iceland know each other? Yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, guys, don't you know the guy? Alain Boudin. Well, close oh, enough. Really? Yeah. In case you haven't noticed, people like to drink in this country. What's up, man? Alain Boudin. Well, For example, this guy. This guy likes to drink in this country. So I kind of lost count of bars at this point. I, I get the general impression from my fellow solid citizens, it's going to be a long, long, long night. And so, we are almost at the point where we say adieu to Iceland. Let us only hope that the last scene of this show is not being curled up in a shivering fetal position on a cold tile floor. <laughs> <laughs>